So for this example, find the radius and the height of the cylinder. So cylinder inscribed in a cone with the radius of 6 cm and height of 10 cm. Maximize your volume of your cylinder. So your sheet will be your cylinder inscribed. Maksudnya dimasukkan ke dalam satu bentuk kun. Dengan syarat, this cone, this cone is fixed. So you can see the constant. Your cone is fixed with the radius of 6 and height of 10. So you're going to adjust your dimension of your cylinder. What's your cylinder radius and what's your cylinder height? What's your cylinder radius? How big the cylinder that you want or height? Uh, how how high the cylinder you want so that the cylinder inscribed here will be having a maximum volume so our first step we can see our shape already it is a cylinder inside a cone then what's your variable here what's the quantity that i keep changing so that you can adjust to have maximum volume of cylinder so we can notice here it will be our radius. So our variable here will be our R for radius of the cylinder. And then H, the height of the cylinder. So this is our variable, dua pemboleh ubah di mana kita boleh adjust radius dengan height cylinder supaya kita mendapatkan volume. So V for volume. Volume of what? Volume of cylinder. So don't misunderstand that. Untuk cone. Cone tak berubah. Cone dah fix. Your cone is constant. Okay, your cone is constant. Cuma kamu nak adjust cylinder kat dalam ni berapa tinggi, berapa besar supaya dia punya volume adalah paling maksimum. So, step number two, we going to find out our formula. You going to maximize the volume means we need the volume of your cylinder. What's your formula for your volume of cylinder? It will be pi r square h so you can notice that the quantity that you want to maximize here volume you not maximize then it is in term of variable r and variable h so this equation are not ready yet to different shape it must be single variable so either in term of r or either in term of h it can't be two variable together r and h Okay, so what's the relationship between R and H here? So that we can express our V in terms of single variable only. So we look at here. So notice that we having a similar triangle. So you can notice that in this triangle, the base from the cone and the space here. They are in the concept of similar triangle. What is what is mean by similar triangle? Means they are having the same angle here. Their angle here, they are same. Just their ratio, they are different. So for this ratio, for this triangle, the smaller triangle, you can see, tapak dia, base dia adalah variable R kita. So for this triangle yang besar, base dia adalah constant 6. How about the height of the triangle? So the height of the triangle, the bigger triangle here is totally H. It's totally H. So for the smaller triangle, oh sorry, total is 10. Total is 10. 10. Height of your cone, right? So what's the smaller triangle here? 
what's the height here? So total is 10. So height minus your 10 minus your H. Ah, adalah tempat di sini. So bila kamu adjust, bila kamu adjust tempat di atas tu adalah 10 minus H. Boleh? So by similar triangle, we relate our unknown R and H. We do the ratio, okay? So for the big triangle, it will be 10 ratio to 6. For the smaller triangle, it will be 10 minus H ratio to R. So if I start with radius, uh, tapak dulu, so R ratio to 6, and then height will be 10 minus H ratio to 10. So I'm going to substitute H will be easier than substitute R square. R square later, your unknown, you have to square some more, right? So we will express what's your equation H in terms of R. So darab silang. Sixty H will be equals to sixty minus ten R. We can simplify this equation. Where H can be equals to six H. Okay, so divide by 6 here, we get 10. Then 10 divided by 6, it will be 5 over 3R. So we can substitute H equals to 10 minus 5 over 3R into this volume. Then you can notice that volume will in term of R only. Where the equation in single variable achieve. So, V dalam sebutan R saja. So, bukan lagi V dalam sebutan variable R dan variable H. So, once your formula already obtained, to get single variable means we can continue already. We find the first derivative and then we find for critical number. So, your V is pi... Expand 10 pi r square minus 5 over 3 pi r cube. So we can differentiate v respect to r. Differentiate v respect to r, answer 20 pi r, then minus 5 pi r square. Solve this. Let it to be zero, and then we can simplify. We can divide by five. Divide by five and time. So your critical number will be r equals to 0 and r equals to 4. So your next step will be going to verify this critical number using second derivative test. Differentiate v respect to r again 20 pi. And then power 10 pi r. When r equals to 0, this second derivative test gives you 20 pi. So which is positive concave upward. This is minimum case. So when r equals to 4,
So 20 minus 40 will give you negative 25. Concave downward, maximum case. So what do you need here? Finally, last step, answer the question. Find your radius, find your height for your maximum cylinder. So you have to answer what's your maximum, what's your radius, what's your height of your cylinder, what's your R, what's your H, and what's your maximum volume. So we're going to maximize the things. So R equals to 4 will be going to use. So the verified result, R maximum is 4. So lastly, answer the question, radius, which is maximum, is 4. And then height, which is height, H, in maximum situation, we substitute back into your e equation involving H and R here, which is 10 minus 5 over 3 R. So it gives you 10 over 3 cm. Lastly, volume. So volume maximize. So find back your volume formula. So your volume formula, you, or you can use original pi r square h because we have our r, we have our h, or you want to substitute r only also can. Mana mana je, sebab dah dapat dah r h then. Okay, so I just put pi r square h. Cm cube. 